What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top risk flayer. I have a show on Kill Pete Strategy every day. I have a show on Free Pete every day. I like to play Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. I know you like to watch Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. I'm in the set. I'm in the first seat playing yellow. So I have a bunch of great cap options. Do I take the turn one noob corner? <laughs> the noobness is calling my name in this game. We hear the call of Nooblius Maximus. It's actually a bit of an awkward noob corner to take. Maybe we just take Great Britain turn one. Purple sees that. Uh, these are the risk meta settings, folks. Europe, advanced. Europe, advanced progressive capitals. Um, capital conquest, Europe advanced auto 60, expert automated bot, progressive cards balance, blitz dice, with fog and blizzards on, portals, lines, they're off. And I like to play open lobbies. That means players of all skill level, all skill levels are welcome in my game. Uh, is there a better way to do that? You know what? I think I'm okay to not have Iceland turn one. Hmm. Discourage Blue from getting any idea to take it. I could have taken Iceland. It's two troops. It doesn't really matter, but not having enough on your capital is fatal. So we make sure we don't do that. I'm in the first position playing as yellow. We're playing the noob corner position. We don't have any um, resistance to that. So we have uh, Blizzard here blocks off. So I have a safe one point cap guard on a plus two and a plus three. Not the best one point, but not the worst in the world. Uh, the Denmark cap locks off the Scandi pocket to here. So whomever takes this has a one point on the plus three of Scandinavia. So those are the two main pockets. Then of course, this Blizzard, extremely impactful. And will be beneficial for, for the player in the Scandi position if they want. Okay, it looks like red is dumb and doesn't put any troops on their capital. That's going to be very helpful, assuming I'm the only one who sees that. Now, if someone is here, yeah, if someone is there, they go smack a Reno time. Oh, two troops. Whomever is there goes hua pa. So, ladies and gentlemen, a public service announcement just in case. Uh, I haven't said it enough. Put troops on your capitals. Okay, we figured out where Magenta's cap is. Magenta cap is here. Trieste. So we see yellow. We see magenta. We see green. We see red. We figure someone is up there. Probably blue. Maybe purple. But I won't have any vision over that pocket at all. If nobody's in there, that'll be good. Okay, blue is here. Okay. Pete, blue, magenta, red, green. Can I just steal the red capital? Be able to figure out where purple is based on their movement. Then purple must have taken that. Do I get to live in a world where I have a two cap open? One of them is noob corner? I like that. Okay, purple's in France. So purple likely capped Gascony. Here's my here's my predictions for the six capitals, folks. We'll see how close that is. Purple could be somewhere in Italy as well. Okay, it looks like they're not stealing this two. Maybe green's on the other side of that? <laughs> Does green go smack Arino time into the red capital? Ladies and gentlemen, no. Green hollows out Spain and Portugal. Also not putting troops on his capital. Fook. Players are living dangerously, folks. Okay, so nobody's here. 
in the bottom right. I could quickly take Orient once I deal with Red. Cool. Well, this is an instantaneous Wapa. We don't think. We don't blink. We just steal this man's capital. Yes, we do. Okay. We've two... <laughs> Red! <laughs> Muesli soup! <laughs> I implore you. Put troops on your capitals. In the second position, playing as red, soon to be dead, we have muesli soup from the United Kingdom in the third seat. We got Zack Attack Scott 12 from Canada, playing as Magenta. I predict he captained Trieste or Trieste. Uh, in <laughs> position four, we have Gauti Johel, which I also pronounced wrong, from Norway, playing as blue. In the fifth position, General Deep. I'm going to fuck him. Deep. Uh, playing from Turkey, pro player in France. Let's see if France held. And the ultimate seed is Furman Lionheart, 15, from USA, playing as green. I don't actually think anyone is up here. Okay, so Magenta would like to take a peek at Reno. And now he sees that he will never have that bono. And we hope he backs off. Zack attack. Yes. Thank you. It is indeed a Zack attack. Don't put troops there, Blue. What the fuck? We try to take Iceland? <laughs> What's wrong with you? You think I'm going to let you do that? You're fucking nuts. Now I have to hit a hit a two though, which I don't love. Purple, purple old France. They did. Okay. Purple's only natural expansion plan is into Germany or Italy because we know Magenta's here. They're breaking Magenta. Good. Good, good, good. All right. So my plan is I'm going to put a six here, finish my new pocket, and then I'm going to start expanding into this line. So hopefully we can take the split orient. I think blue is going to win the Russia pocket. So if they let me exist back there, they won't because I'm going to remove them from behind me. Your red's crying. Yeah, you're dumb, red. You're dumb. You're dumb and now you die. Let's just go whole hog. We knew this was all magenta, right? Ooh, we lose the 3v1 is kind of rough. Okay. See, Brad hit a nine cap with ten troops. I figure Magenta's at war with purple. I'm just basically playing two positions now in this open. Yeah. He's building up. He's building up. We're not going to let you hold anything. Red, we're going to keep you contained in that pocket. After I stole your capital and kill you when the time is right. Hey, Red's just a new player. Okay, Magenta gets 10. Obviously, you're not going to contest me in Africa. I didn't break you in Greece. This was the friend. This attack, even though I failed, it was the friendly play. This would have been the aggressive play. Yep, you just go up. So you don't worry about Orient. Now, my next question, does blue take this? If blue takes that line, I won't be able to hold Orient. If blue takes this line, I will, at least for a moment. Ooh, no, blue has no bonus. So blue's busy. Blue is busy. They got other problems. They got other fish to fry. Cool. I like the other fish to fry for you.
All right, and if purple doesn't address, purple get broken? Yeah, purple doesn't get broken. All right, I'm in a two-position snowball potential. Can I take Orient this turn? Will I actually be able to do that? Yeah, so they don't have a gas in your cap. What? Are you going to manual my capital? No. I <laughs> didn't think so. Holy shit. <laughs> and green doesn't hold Spain either. Magenta's is well played because magenta isn't being broken. Yeah, I don't know about that magenta. Do I let magenta stay big? Well played, fist bump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want good you want good borders, I get it. Okay, green gets plus ten, which means green held Spain. All green has. I think I play this quite greedy. Because it's still early. And I'm in the first seat, right? So I lead with the greed. Holding twenty territories can be six troops plus two, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 troops coming in. I can take the Orient pocket. Ooh, and I have a set here. Yeah, might as well set early to do this. Cool. So 7, 100% take on that line. 4, 100% take on that line. 4, 100% take on that line. Uh, 4, put two troops here. I'll put two troops on my capital. And this takes Orient. and put troops on my capital. So we have a 13 to 14 cap. We, we have Orient, we have stable borders with Magenta. I don't expect that they go back. Maybe he does. It's a very scary board position. For turn four. Okay, red almost has it. And do they finish the bono? They don't have the bono. Okay. They move their seven off. I would run if I were you, red. I would run away. Okay, does Magenta try to interrupt? If they do, they never hold this again. I also put a three here in the split orient because in case blue decides to start taking cards, I don't want them to just take an easy card from Georgia. Because having a holding a split bonus on uh, on Europe advance Europe advanced progressive capital is often difficult to accomplish. Ha! You dumb bastard! <laughs> I'm so much bigger than you. <laughs> I'm so much bigger than you, man. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not going to emote. I wanted to oops him. I don't think I do. I'm so much bigger than you, man. Holy fuck. Okay. This is blue trying to take 14. So he did hold the plus eight. Yeah, we cool. We 100% cool. I want you to be up there. That will sandwich magenta. Yeah. Thanks, man. Okay. 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 This is fucking awesome. All right. So blue is going to be, blue is going to be enormous, right? Eight, seven. He's letting me hold a three there. I never add to that three. So blue wants to play friendly with Pete. That's going to enable me to kill magenta who thinks he's slick. Kill red. Red doesn't have a cap. I can dedicate all my generation this turn to killing magenta. Purple causing problems in the mid board. That's what we want to see. Very much what we want to see. What am I going to get? 15 territories is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 again. Undo everything magenta did on their turn and break them. Well for green, 
Why would green have 12? Green is coming out of Scandinavia? Interesting. Green is in a two-position play. Yeah, green is coming. He's thanksing him. Blue's letting green exist in Scandinavia. Very, very interesting. So blue's going to get the thanks there meant. Ah, he's not. He's breaking Russia. Cool. Yeah, I figured that might happen. So blue needed to clean green out of this pocket. And they will because unless green breaks the plus eight. Oh, this is great. I'm so glad I can see what's happening without seeing what's happening. That's extremely helpful. I'm also glad I can pressure Magenta. Magenta made a key mistake. I mean, they can set. They can continue to break me for a while. But I will just keep pressuring you. You want to hit a four? Okay, red tries to take this plus six. It's more and more likely that that is red's final position. Still playing. Good for you, Muesli Soup. Way to not quit. And we figure the magenta cap is here. So we don't take this final territory and open it. Okay, does he continue to try and rush the pocket? He does! You're nuts! You're nuts! D buddy, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! Oh my god! All right. All right. All right, so blue sets goes in here. Blue's cleaning this out now. We know green isn't there, or sorry, we know green's cap isn't there, so they, there is no resistance to this. Maybe I do open the magenta cap, because they're going to set and break me anyways. Now I just, I, I break both of his bonos. Also just keep a red weak. Purple get anything? Six. No, purple has no bonus. So Magenta's playing the middle position incorrectly, right? They know I'm behind them and they know I'm massive. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> well played. Yeah, green either got broken or removed from Scandinavia. Now green is stuck in Spain between purple and red. Yeah. Finds my capital. Don't think we want to give red additional troops. Yep, set and sue my cap. Maybe I just eat you for four cards. I mean, at least he's not quitting. Respect to Muesli Soup for not quitting. Magenta's so fucked. Oh, Magenta lost their capital! Oh! <laughs> you spent two turns breaking me, and Purple fucks you right in the ass. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god, I love that. I love this poor man. Uh he he tried so hard and gone so far, but in the end, <laughs> holy fucking shit, twenties, seven for blue. That's fantastic. I love this. Well played, blue. Now what do you do? I can deal with blue being massive. So we okay. Here's process of elimination. We know this is green. Was green now is blue. We know this is blue. We know this is blue. So the only question is, how much red? exists i can go up and check right this is the part of the board we know this is green so this is the part of the board i need to check for red um red kill on five i have an open cap line to it i'm gonna go for it poor red i fucked you real bad and it's five cards this man dies before even trading What did purple get? Only three troops. Purple lost their capital. Okay. So magenta smacked the red. Maybe I can uh, kill red, set, kill magenta, set sort of thing, or purple or both. This could be a very spicy turn. Let's see what happens. I need to not fuck up the red kill. I need to not miss. Target locked. Let's see how it goes. Red on five cards is perfect. Green do. Who has three capitals? Blue? Can we kill red, magenta, and purple this turn? We know the available board. It's all, all of these guys exist in the middle, right? All of red is here. All of magenta is here. All of purple is here. Yeah. Okay, well. Smackerino time? I believe it's, ladies and gentlemen, I believe it is the part of the show that I like to define as Smackerino time. Oh yeah, we're going in deep. LOL! Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so fucking good. Holy shit. Uh, which one of these do I want to smack? I actually think I want to smack either. I mean, the sets are still too low. Maybe these guys can, can perform a concerted effort on me, but no set on three. He can try and break me as much as he can. And try and kill green. What are you trying to do? Yeah, you got no no shot, sir. No shot. Yeah. Ah, he's helping. He's helping. All right, well played. Well played. 
Yeah, that is a <laughs> that is an attempt. That's a play for second survivors on one. Good work, blow. <laughs> fucking hard play for second two. <laughs> but immediately punches the other guy. It's like this game is ending. It's one of the quickest fucking games. Holy shit. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> What a dumb fucking game. I love it. I love it, folks. And I hope you did, too. Let's get a Q&A question in before it ends, because it's ending. Um, we have a question from Robert. Hello, Robert. Hi, Pete. On the rare occasions where you lose someone right far lower than you, that nah, happens quite more often than you think. Uh, novice beginner, what goes through your head? I'm a beginner, and I just managed to beat a grandmaster with some luck and savvy play. I'd feel pretty annoyed if the roles were reversed. Ah, Okay. One of the ways I would define a fair free-for-all game is the players in it. Any two players in a free-for-all, in a fair free-for-all game should be able to beat the best player in the world. And if they can't do that, that would be the clearest way I would define the game as not being a fair game. Um, and the reason I think about it like that, let me just kill this guy. Blue's immediate sue for... Uh, Blue's immediate play for a second will be rewarded here. The reason I think about it is you can detach your ego from free-for-all, right? If any two noobs can kill you in any sort of moment, um, that really isn't much more to say about... Well, sure, you might be the best player in the world. Good game, sir. You might be a complete noob, right? Lots of luck exists in Risk. There's dice luck. There's card luck. There's turn order luck. There's spawn luck, right? There's the random, pseudo-random choices your opponents make. Everyone of different skill levels, perhaps they don't know how to play to win. Perhaps they know how to play to win. Perhaps they got lucky, right? All of these things can happen that would cause an outcome where you lose. And you might lose to someone ranked far lower than you. You don't know that someone ranked far lower than you is actually lower in skill because A, the ranking system is total dog shit, and B, we are all playing anonymously. So all of those factors go in to say, I do lose to players um, that are ranked far lower than me. I do lose to players that are far less skillful than me all the time. Um, but I think... One of the key things this question highlights is it is a free-for-all game. So that is normal. That happens a ton. Uh, defeating two novices in green and red. Yeah, red was obvious. Yeah, they both had four troops on their capitals in the open. Uh, purple was a beginner who looks like he over-attacked into the master, who was Zack Attack Soup. And blue was an expert who knew how to play for second when it was obvious to him that he couldn't play for first gg guys that was a really fun one got it done real quick and uh i i like this question robert i think it's an interesting thing to to focus on um we like to think of our outcomes as mattering um we like to try and measure them as indicative of our skill to some extent it has been one of the hardest longest conversations one of the hardest things to measure in risk is to answer the question how would you determine who is the best player in the world um right now we have the saber system and the saber according to the saber system as of the filming of this video arco is the highest rated player i think this is a far more representative ranking system right let's look at the the top 20, right? Arco, myself, Lena Kitty, I am Mamba, Kyle, Fonty, Samboy, Trunk, Saber, and Tim in the top 10. And another excellent set of 10 players, Riedel, Zerke, New 2.0, Blazin, KPO1 champion, Feliz, Jax, Cecil, Dogan, Van Agarwal, Tiger, and the Red Apple. These guys, um, guys and girls through and through, excellent people, excellent players. Um, I'm honored to be counted as one of them. And that's sort of how I would want to be measured, right? I would want to think of myself as um, a 
as as if we have anything the closest the I'm stumbling over my words. If we have anything the closest thing to objective of a measure we can find, and we're still working on the saber system. Um, it's definitely not perfect. Any of those players could beat any of those other players in a heartbeat, right? So the distance between um, top people is a lot more granular than you might imagine. Um, but it's a really good question to linger on, Robert. So thank you for asking it. Um, what goes through my head when I lose to a noob? Usually, oh my God, that was dumb. <laughs> oh my God, right? You got to have fun with it and uh, not hold your own ego up too, too much because I lose a lot. And ideally when I do, I learn from it. Thank you for watching folks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. I appreciate you. If you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on free Pete, a daily release on the kill Pete strategy. I do weekday streams on Twitch. I love you. I appreciate you for all of you on the path to world domination. Good games, good luck.